We've talked about secondary dominance, but there's other secondary functions. And so what we're going to talk about right now is secondary leading tone chords. So we know that the dominant chord, the five chord, is very related to the seven diminished. So five and seven diminished, they both have a dominant function. So just like we can have a secondary dominant, we can have a secondary leading tone chord. What that will mean is uh, there's a couple rules we're going to be aware of. So if the triad to be tonicized is major, okay, so a major triad, so if we're in the key of, let's say, C major, let's say the four chord, then you can use seven diminished, you could use a seven diminished triad as an option, so seven diminished of four, you could use seven diminished seven of four, or seven half diminished seven of four. You actually have three options on leading tone, secondary leading tone functions. So let's, let's examine why that would be. So normally, why do we have this distinction? Because then when we go to minor, if it's a minor triad that's going to be tonicized, you're only allowed to use seven diminished seven or seven diminished. So this is referring primarily to like what kind of seventh chord of the leading tone seventh you can use. The triad, the seven diminished triad is, is always fair game. But when you are tonicizing and using a seventh chord, the half diminished seven can only be used if the chord being tonicized is a major triad. That said, the fully diminished seven chord is actually a lot more common uh, in, in tonal music. So that's the one that you're going to see the most. There's another exception, though, that we need to be aware of. In a minor key, there's no seven diminished of three. And let's examine why. So when we say this, so let's say C minor. 7 diminished of 3. Well, 3 would have E flat as its root. So 7 diminished would be D, F, A flat. And you'll find that 7 diminished of 3 is essentially the same thing as 2 diminished. And so the ear will never hear it as a 7 diminished of 3. It's going to hear it as a 2 diminished triad. So we have a similar situation like that when we dealt with secondary dominance. So a uh, 5 of 4 has the exact same pitches as a 1 chord. Therefore, it will be heard as a 1 chord. Here, these notes will be heard as a 2 diminished. The other chord that you won't find is the seven half diminished seven of three for the same reasons as this because that would essentially just be two half diminished seven same pitches so even though you could argue and say hey it's the same notes what we're trying to do when we're using Roman numerals is recognize the function of how it's going so even though you can say look the notes are the same for this and this but the question is what to use to label it has to do with well how do those notes function and that's the purpose of this music theory is not just a, a mind exercise game it's actually supposed to be illuminating meaning it's going to show you what that those group of notes are are leading to or going from uh, so so it, you have to just you have to label it based on its function so we have in a minor key no seven diminished of three or no seven half diminished of three because they are essentially are two chords. Um, the other thing that we don't have, which is a little unusual, uh, it takes a second to think about it, is we don't find seven half diminished seven of five in a minor key. We do find it in a major key, but not a minor key. Well, why is that? Based on what we said right up here, we said that if the chord that's going to be tonicized is a major triad, 
like we have right here, we can use either the triad, the fully diminished seventh, or the half diminished seventh. Well, why not? The answer is the uniqueness of a minor key. In a minor key, the only reason that this five chord is major is because we've raised the leading tone. Its natural form is to be a minor five chord. And because that's what's natural to a minor key, you would not use a half diminished seventh sonority to be the secondary function of that five. You would have to use either the triad, which is available for both major and minor, or if you wanted to use a seventh chord, a leading tone seventh chord, it would have to be fully diminished seven. Because naturally in the minor key, you have a naturally occurring minor five chord. So we, we went over this really quickly a second ago, but spelling the, the secondary leading tone chords, here's the step-by-step -step process. If you are spelling it, you name the root of the chord to be tonicized. So, if we look at our example, we had C major, 7 diminished of 4. So, name the root of the chord to be tonicized. If this is C major, we're going to say that that root is an F. We then go down a minor second. Down a minor second from F is E. And then, step three, using that note, the E, as the root, spell either a seven diminished triad, seven half diminished seven triad, or seven diminished seven triad based on that note, using that as the root. So, it all depends on what we want. If we want a triad, it would be E, G, B flat. If we wanted it to be half diminished seven, we'd spell the D. And if we wanted fully diminished seven, it would be D flat. And then this we could label as our seven diminished seven of four in the key of C major. All right, so that's how you're going to spell your secondary leading tone chords. Now, you, we're using a very similar step-by-step -step process for when you're analyzing those chords. So let's say we see these, these notes right here, F sharp, A, C, in the key of C major. It's an altered chord because there is no F sharp in our key of C major. So we know it's an altered chord. What do we do? Is the, we ask the question, is the altered chord a diminished triad, a half diminished seven chord, or a fully diminished seven chord? In this case, F sharp AC is a diminished triad. All right? So we then go to step two. Name the note a minor second above the root of the altered chord. So what's a half step above this F sharp? That would be G. So we now have the G. Would a major or minor triad built on that note be a diatonic triad in our key of C major? So if we built a G major triad, that would be a five chord in the key of C major. G minor is not an option, that wouldn't, but it doesn't matter. As long as one of those, either a major or a minor triad is diatonic in your home key, then you can answer yes, I, this is a secondary leading tone chord. It would be the F sharp is a half step below the G, so it is a seven diminished triad. Half step up is our resolution of five. So that is a seven diminished triad of five. Seven <coughs> diminished of five. Great. So voice leading, nothing new here. The seventh of the chord resolves down, the leading tone resolves up. This is something that, that's been the case forever and it, it continues. So, moving forward, let's take a look at harmonic progression. And here also there's nothing new or unusual. Just as we had the secondary dominance, 
as inserts into a harmonic progression, so you can do the secondary leading tone chords as inserts into a harmonic progression. These secondary leading tone chords precede the chord that they are, they are analyzed of. So if you have seven, half diminished seven of five, you put it before a five chord. Let's take a look. Here's one example here at the top. Six to seven half diminished seven of five, one, six, four, five, seven, one. Is there, is there any problem when this five, this seven half diminished seven of five doesn't go immediately to five? No, because a one, six, four chord in this context here is functioning as a five chord. So this one, six, four, five, seven is really all one dominant function. So we really are going to five just as we expect. So let's take a look at what those would be in a key. Uh, we're in a major key, so let's say C major, our sixth chord, and let's do some lead sheet symbols. Our sixth chord is an A minor triad, seven half diminished seven of five. The way I figure these out is I say, well, what's five? Five is a G, and I only need to figure out the root. Seven half diminished seven means I need the root of that chord is going to be a half step below the five. So it would be F sharp is the root. And then it's a half diminished 7 chord, so F sharp, half diminished 7. Going to 1, 6, 4, 1 is a C major triad, but we'll have G in the bass. To 5, 7, which would be G7, 1 is our, our uh, resolution 1 chord. So right there, F sharp, half diminished 7, in the key of C major, is a 7 half diminished 7 of 5. And you can see that that F sharp, goes right there to the G. And so, in a certain sense, when we're talking about secondary functions, whether they're secondary dominance or secondary leading tone chords, is it's almost like we are temporarily in a new key. We are temporarily in the key of G. So this is our seven diminished, seven half diminished seven, in the key of G. So that's what we mean when we put the slash five. It's telling us in this key. Uh, and, where, and, and so we're not saying G here, we're saying five, which happens to relate back to our home key, C major. So in this instance, it's talking about a G. So it's a bunch of step-by-step -step processes. So go slowly, think about those, and you should be able to come up with the correct answers. Let's test that one more time. Let's look at our next progression. Let's pick another key, just to keep our minds active. Here we have five, seven, seven, fully diminished seven of six, six, five, six, five, one. We have our uppercase Roman numeral one, so we know we're in a major key. Let's pick D major. And we're gonna go come up with lead sheet symbols, just so that we know about the pitches that we're talking about. So five, seven, and the key of D is an A7. 7 diminished 7 of 6. Well, we always don't want to go know where we're going. So let's do 6 first. So 6 in D major is a B minor chord. So what would be a 7 diminished 7 in the key of B minor or of B minor? Well, here's our B. We go down a half step to A sharp. I don't, it's not B flat. So enharmonics, you're not allowed to just change it to what, what's enharmonically easier for you to do. It actually has to be in that key. So we have to say A sharp, we can't say B flat, even if that's a little easier to think about for some of us. And then we know it's a diminished seven. So A sharp, diminished seven to B minor, five, six, five. Again, we knew our five chord was an A seven. Six, five means that the third, the C sharp is in the bass, and then D. So you can see we have this ascending scalar baseline. A, up a half step to A sharp, up a half step to B, to C sharp to D. Let me play for you what that sounds like so you can hear how, how, how cool that sounds. We are in the key of D major, so let me give for you a D major triad. Four chord. If I then go to a A7, And you can hear 
how how great that A sharp that that secondary uh, secondary function sounds there. That A going up to that fully diminished chord uh, really propels a uh, harmonic progression. You can in a harmon again since we're talking about harmonic progression, it's not needed for the function of the progression. A seven to B minor. So 5, 7, resol resolving deceptively to 6, going up the scale of 5, 6, 5 to 1. This, this is a perfectly uh, acceptable progression. That secondary leading tone chord is not needed for the progression. What does it do? Why is it there? It's there for extra interest. It helps it intensify the, the direction. Uh, it provides another color, another, uh, some more variety. And it allows for things to happen melodically above above that chord that you wouldn't be able to have if you if you just kept with the more diatonic chords uh, that are the foundation of your harmonic progression. So hopefully you have a whole bunch of new chords to be thinking about and utilizing, and uh, we will talk about other aspects of sequences coming up next. We're going to talk about sequences. We're going to talk about how you can substitute dominant, uh, secondary dominant functions and secondary leading tone functions in a circle of fifth sequence. So make sure you, you uh, keep, keep up and keep following all the new videos that are going to be coming out.